a lot to talk about, a lot to discuss about the obvious main event for night one of WrestleMania 40 when the great one himself, The Rock, tags with current undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns, his tribal chief, to face off against the team of the world's heavyweight champion, Seth Frickin' Rollins. And the winner of back-to-back -back Royal Rumble matches in the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your main event for night one. And The Rock put up that challenge last week on Friday night. And it's safe to say that SmackDown indeed is The Rock's show because tonight on Monday Night Raw... Cody Rhodes, along with Seth freaking Rollins, told the entire WWE audience that their response was going to happen on Friday night. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the seeds being planted. As far as WrestleMania 40 goes, as far as WrestleMania 41 goes, because make no mistake about it, The Rock... Versus Roman Reigns is a guarantee, and pretty much it's guaranteed to be the main event of WrestleMania 41. There is no doubt in my mind that will end up being the case. Fans still want to see that match. You, you can't deny that. Especially after Roman Reigns interrupted, cut off. His own cousin, one of the most, if not the most recognizable superstars, not just in WWE, but in the entire world, when he was about to do his catchphrase and Roman Reigns, the tribal chief asked him to acknowledge him formally, and The Rock did. But that slight moment where Roman Reigns stopped the Rock cuts him off. There's an audible O oh from the audience and then there is pretty much radio silence. Nobody wants to say a word about what happened, about what's about to go down, what could go down. They're just on the edge of their seats waiting to see how The Rock is going to respond. What's The Rock's move? He's the great one, like I said, the most recognizable man in the entire world, pretty much. And of course, you got Roman Reigns right then and there. He's the tribal chief. This is his world. He's been in WWE, running WWE for three plus years at this point, as Undisputed Universal Champion. And I love how WWE is underhandedly doing to Roman Reigns what they tried to do to Cody Rhodes. Because The Rock tried to upstage Cody Rhodes and the fans did not have it. And now The Rock is clearly upstaging the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns and the Tribal Chief himself. Roman Reigns is not going to take it for obvious reasons. Now, with that said, WWE did have to retcon that initial step aside from the American Nightmare on SmackDown a few weeks ago. And The Rock did that in a masterful, master class on Instagram. Where he pretty much explained that Cody Rhodes was being a team player. He was doing what was best for business. And he was stepping aside so that WWE, its universe, the fans, the audience, and the entire world could get the biggest main event. And make no mistake about it, it is still the biggest main event possible for WrestleMania between Roman Reigns and The Rock. And of course, Cody Rhodes, we all know the story, he... Interrupted him and he called his shot. So, 
just on that, WWE is revolutionizing the road to WrestleMania. We're getting excited. We want to see what's going to go down. We are just about one month away from WrestleMania. And there are still a lot of layers, a lot, a lot of directions this can go in. Because there's a lot of people out there saying that The Rock is going to turn on Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. And the very first night. Because he's making Roman Reigns wrestle twice in one weekend. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm of the belief that it'd be a little bit too soon to have him turn on The Rock. Or turn on Roman Reigns, rather. We need to drag this out. Well, we're working with two part timers. Let's drag it out because if you make, if you have them turn on each other at WrestleMania, then we have to wait an entire year for the actual match to happen. When theoretically, the hatred, the betrayal. The fire, it's at its highest once the turn happens. And again, it's not always the case. We're seeing it with the Usos right now. They're barely getting back to the Usos. Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso. That's going to happen at WrestleMania. So it is possible. All I'm saying... All I'm saying... Is that... Wrestling, just like The Rock said, wrestling is cool once again. WWE, AEW, we saw that at Revolution this past weekend. It's cool again. So let's just enjoy the ride. Let's not complain about, oh, this match has to be the main event. That match has to be the main. Let's just enjoy it for what it is. It is entertainment, ladies and gentlemen. And we as wrestling fans, we get to enjoy it. So with that said, what are your thoughts on um, pretty much a confirmation of the main event of night one between The Rock and Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. Are you excited? Do you think it's unfair towards the Women's Royal Rumble match winner in Bailey? Leave your thoughts, comments, and predictions in the comment section below. With that said, I'm Alexis Carrillo. This has been Wrestling Talk, and I'll see you next time.